Good morning. This is Mike Houston with your Thursday morning weather hazard briefing for southeast Idaho. Looking at satellite imagery this morning, we see a low-pressure trough working through central Canada with the southern extent of that trough uh, clipping the Montana-Wyoming Divide region. Uh, this trough was responsible for some shower, snow shower activity across uh, uh, the northeast mountains yesterday afternoon. And uh, we continue to see some light uh, snow showers here across northern Wyoming this morning. Looking further upstream, we see a high-pressure ridge beginning to work into the northwest states. Looking at ITD road conditions from early this morning, uh, we see some difficult conditions extending from, oh, the Spencer area northward into uh, the Montana border region and here in the Driggs area as a result of those snow showers from Wednesday afternoon and evening. Looking at our forecast models uh, for this morning, uh, we see that low pressure trough uh, continuing to spread east through Canada. The southern extent of it still can uh, possibly producing some very light snow showers here along the Montana Wyoming Divide region, certainly less than a tenth of an inch up here in Island Park. And uh, as we work into the afternoon hours, we see this high pressure ridge continuing to spread eastward into Idaho with drier conditions following this afternoon. Daytime highs today expected to be in the 30s here in the Snake River Plain and mid 20s to uh, mid 30s here in the Central Mountains and Southeast Highlands. We expect to see another low pressure system top this ridge in the Eastern Pacific and uh, sheer south and east through British Columbia with the leading edge of the snowfall now spreading into the Central Mountains by Friday evening. By Saturday that system spreading into the Dakotas with the tail end of it uh, seen or producing some snowfall here in the Central Mountains and Northeast Highlands uh, through the day on Saturday. Daytime highs should be a little warmer with that system sweeping through the region, looking at generally the lower to mid 40s here in the Snake River Plain and mid 30s to maybe even lower 40s here in the Chalice area and then uh, 30s here across the Southeast Highlands. The remains of that low pressure trough sweeping east into uh, Minnesota uh, by Sunday morning. Might see some lingering showers here along the Wyoming uh, Divide, but uh, for the most part we should see drier conditions spreading in from the west. The model is indicating, oh, maybe some light snowfall here in the Magic Valley. I think this is just a result of some low-level moisture that's trapped in the model, uh, and it's coming out as uh, some precipitation. As we advance further into the week, this high pressure ridge will spread into the area and we'll see dry conditions through the week until about Thursday or Friday when yet another low pressure system comes over the top of the ridge and spreads into the area. That's all I had here for you this morning. If you had any comments or questions, please give us a call here at the number on the screen. Thank you.